Hey, how's it going everybody? I am Pinkamus, and it's been a while since I've made a video like this just because, you know, it's not every day Nintendo comes out with a new sort of Mario plush that I am just like laser focused and interested on. Or technically any plush, I guess, because last time I did this was a Link plushie that they came out with when Breath of the Wild came out. And now, this time around, it looks like, looks like a, uh, Metal Mario plush. Now before we continue, I did want to mention that, uh, I got the Amazon Nintendo box, which is, uh, pretty cool. As for the Metal Mario plush, now I found this at a GameStop a couple days ago. I just went in there not even like thinking about it, just looking at the games and then uh, this little guy caught my eye from across the aisle. The reason that this is a new plush is because this was released for in celebration of Super Mario 3D All-Stars, you know, it is uh, Mario's 35th anniversary. Wow, it's been so long. Yeah, I'm looking at the tag here, it's the Metal Mario character, obviously, from the All-Star collection. Perfect. Now, taking a look at the plush itself, I noticed that at first I thought that the M was uh, black, but upon further inspection, it's more of a dark gray, which uh, makes more sense for Metal Mario. Now, as for the Mario design itself, it's very uh, on brand with how the Mario plushies are looking these days. The texture, it feels good. I don't know if it feels different from regular Mario plushies just because it's gray or not, but I feel like it may. It's been a while since I've held a regular Mario plush, but now let's do the sitting test or the standing test. This is basically whether I, uh, the plush can stand up by itself or sit by itself. Okay, it can't stand by itself. And, but sitting though, can it sit? No, it cannot. Now I'm not gonna hold that against the plush, but it's always just bonus points if uh, a toy can do that. Uh, even with the eyes, if you take a look at that, is uh, there are no pupils like a normal, you know, little character would have. Um, I did wonder if like maybe like they could have put like just a uh, black dots on it or not But then again, I don't know if that's uh, true to the Metal Mario character So probably not based on what I'm looking at the little drawing there. He doesn't have any black people So maybe I'm just wrong there, but um, yeah, that's fine and the price for this was 13 bucks honestly with all that in mind, it's it's a good plush, and I assume at some point this will be rare, because I don't know how many of these are going to be out there. And also, I'm not sure what this means for any possible any future ideas for plushies, because now that they've done a Metal Mario because of 3D All-Stars, maybe that they'll finally put out a Shadow Mario plush that a lot of us have been waiting for, including me. In fact, while we're on the subject, I, uh... Way back in the day, years and years ago, I uh, wanted to have a Shadow Mario-esque character, so I got a regular Mario plush, and just like, sort of, at first I dyed, I spray painted them all black. Didn't work out well, because, uh, just because it didn't become totally black, it became, it, like, the red and blue just became a dark red and a dark blue. Uh, but then after that, I just put black tape all over it, to, just to reminisce that this is a Shadow Mario. Uh, and here he is. And still, as you can see, the spray paint is still on it. I, uh, trust me, I've washed him several times. The hair is fine, because I didn't want to spray paint that. Uh, but then as you can see, like, the hat, the overalls, even the nose a little bit, you can see a little black smudges on it. This is actually how, uh, I think these are still the go-to designs for Mario plushies. And that's basically what he's designed of, as you can tell, even in the legs. I mean, look at that, they're too, like, small and thin and, like, don't, like, I can actually hold up the characters. I bring up Shadow Mario specifically because, you know, he's in Sunshine, Sunshine is in part of Mario 3 All-Stars. Now, obviously, when I say that they should make a Shadow Mario plush, I think it should be the original design back in the game where he's all blue and with the uh, red eyes. I mean, who knows, maybe that exists now. Maybe it came along with uh, the Metal Mario. Or at the very least, they could do a Cosmic Mario plush, which, and that character is available in Super Mario Galaxy. You know, that's where Mario races a version of himself, which is basically supposed to be like a Shadow Mario sort of uh, character, but the difference with Cosmic Mario is that he's like, uh, all blue and then stars all over him like he's just supposed to represent uh, outer space in the form of Mario But overall in conclusion, I think this is a well done Mario plush well done Nintendo I really like a, a metal Mario. I'm, I'm sure people use this as sort of like a 
bad version of Mario, even though that's not technically correct because this is just a power-up. Although, in Smash Bros. Melee, they did sort of use Metal Mario in some missions to be, oh, beat Metal Mario before you fight Master Hands, so, I don't know. There are different interpretations for Mario, obviously, so, for Metal Mario, so... Do what you will, take your own creative freedom. Don't listen to me. So with all that being said, uh, thank you guys for watching, for liking, and subscribing. Uh, I, I do Let's Plays regularly on this channel with my friend Camilo. We try to do five times a week, but sometimes it's only four, or even three. But, you know, we're getting there, alright? We're getting good with it. If there are any new plushes that you want me to review, please let me know in the comments. And if you want to see more of, of these videos. And yeah, that is pretty much it. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!